Hmm. Hi. It's nine o'clock where I live, so it's not that long ago since um, I recorded the episode one, or part one. Now, it's time to f continue working on this. So, I did nothing. Um, last time I met. And... It's time to fix up. More um, refining, I guess. So... Yeah, my car line looks a bit tiny. Um, it's because actually planes a lot bigger than you think it is. <laughs> so that'd be tempting to make it smaller. Just go put a person next to an F-14 Tomcat. You'd be surprised how big bigger it is than you think. Um, but saying that, I really hate the boxiness um, on this airplane. So we're going to just make it less boxy. Now clipping is enabled, so I'm going to take that to my advantage by just doing that. And S of the X, under clipping, a bit of a transition. Yeah. At center, ah, uh, not at cursor. At center. Let me just keep on working on that around there. Hide our spares. want to the a good practice is to have like all the polygons roughly the same size so this nah -uh. that not better That's odd. So there looked like to be some pesky end gone, and I see it right here. This sort of tire section is all broken, so easier is to delete everything. If I use the C brush, C select, I call it C brush because it makes sense to me. Make sure you save regularly. Some funky geometry. Uh, really, just an easier thing is since there's just so much headache happening here, like there's some angons, it'll be much easier if I just delete this. Oh, pardon me, my mic is actually in the wrong spot. I hope that sounds better. Ah, yeah, not that much. 
that's that's and gone. So the sides of Carlin's face. There. It's time to do something about here. Mm -hmm. So, where is this, this loop on the other side? It's over there. Okay. So, I'm going to grab all these. Slide, 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 slide. Roughly to the same Y position to there. I said roughly, don't. And just delete all that. Perfect. While we're here, just to avoid some awkward subsurf, we're just going to straighten them up. And yeah, much better. I'm going to delete this face. Delete your face! Uh, just going to select this face and that face, and that's my jet engine. You can probably see what's going on here. This is unnecessary. Mm -hmm. And that's also unnecessary. X dissolve edge. Mm -hmm. And J and dissolve vertices. And F here. And I'm going to do a little inset here. Before that, I want something protecting my turbine. Yes, 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 I do. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to dissolve, oh, X dissolve the edge, X dissolve the edge, press to get your kniffy, and just draw along here, add some lovely um, support loops, press it J, hmm. grabbed, and grabbed. Oh. Now this is a bit awkward. I do agree. Just going to do that. And grabbed. Cool. So now I have this edge loop here. And of course it's not working. I wonder why. It's because of you. Bad. I swear there'd be tons of them around here. Cool. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press right click circle that's roughly a circle indeed S X no S Y S Y zero mm, maybe rotate it a bit on this way and maybe a bit bigger exaggerate it it's art not it's not real engineering remember we're not engineers we're actually artists um, yeah, that's, yeah, I think people should understand that, that they're not literally designing the thing, they just design something that look cool. A little bit of inset and face. And yeah, that looks sort of cool. Maybe, uh, maybe not there. Maybe we bring it out a bit further. I do agree, boys and girls. Let's go E. Hmm. Let's all delete all those faces. And just go into extrude to there, roughly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enable magnetic snapping to vertices and just snap to there, there, and there. Oh, yeah, sure, you can do. Um, what's that thing called again? Uh, don't know, forgotten it. Oh yeah, merge. If that's your preferred way, feel free. No one's telling you what to do. This is just a guide, remember? Mm -hmm. And I can press F here. Oh, wrong direction. I press here, here. No, bad blender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Just need to push my. Oh, that's why I forgot to merge. There we go. And now that starts to look much better. Now those. 
Those look like jet engines. I think that's a pretty integrated there. I still more shaping. I really hate the boxiness and there's like more of this. We should go into like a proper matte cap. Like this one. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 indeed, indeed. I'm going to extrude this a bit longer. Something separating it. Okay. Yes, X, Y, zero, shift S, there, circle. That's the worst circle I've ever seen. Circle. Yes, I gotta admit, the, that does look pretty nasty. I'm gonna keep it like that. That looks sort of cool. It's like a Jet fight, I guess. And yeah, some people's approach they will make this like separate parts, but look at that. Look at those beautiful reflections we're getting. Yeah. And we don't want that. It's super easy to separate it with some panel lines. I'll show you how to do that later. Just bear with me. I know this video is uh, super long. But hey, it's free education and tutorial, so can't really complain there. I want to keep that shape as Z0, put it there. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. This is just really just making my airplane look ugly. Car line, get out of the way, darling. So you can see that flat proportion, don't like it. I want to make it look a bit more integrated. So I'm just gonna push it in. And let's go dress the topology here. Hmm. I think we all agree, it just merged at last. What, what happened there? Oh, I select all those. M at last. Now, I got this unwanted shape. Kind of got this like thing and then got this tab hole, like this inverted curve. I want that to go the other way. So, who's responsible? It's you. It's all your fault. I can't believe you. Press 7 on the number pad and just grab it on the X to get the curve I want. Hmm. Now, I think we can, um, so why did it make such a big deal just to make this shape? Honestly, you can just, we can have the wings separate. 
I'll tell you why. If you look at the Horton 229, I think this like integration here is very pretty. Just there, that, that like the, like that. No, that's pretty, yeah, like that. That looks pretty nice. And I was going with that. And I have already set up the foundations to do that. So let's go take advantage of it. So I guess um, we make this like a face. So I draw something like that. Mm -hmm. I press J here and then I'll just merge it here. Mm -hmm. My face. And you can see you got this edge loop going on. And you can probably see what I'm thinking of. And then Yeah, I'll just simply just delete it. It opens up. No, maybe I just want to taper it in. Oh, no, no. Taper it in. Taper it in. Select the entire boundary loop. Well, that's because there, because it's just a pole. And actually, the reason why it's a pole because there's these faces, and that'll be disastrous if I extrude over them. Ooh, close one, Tony. Mm -hmm. He shifts it and just slide it in there, uh, mostly in the y axis, and I push it back in. Yeah, that looks really cool. Uh, maybe a bit too far. <laughs> How about we make it a bit uh, like there? S Y zero flatten it, and we got that triangle. Mm. And let's just more a bit parallel there. Um, I do agree, I think that's way too close in. So let's just cut it there. Cut it here. Just a limit of it. Mm -hmm -hmm. At uh, loss and at loss. Hmm. I don't like how extruded like that. It's pretty nasty in my opinion. Next is all this. Next up with this vertices. E just a bit. I shouldn't have done it that extreme. Yes, yes, yes. Don't like triangles. Triangles are friend. And E on the Y axis and now that's looking a lot better. And let's go relieve this. Maybe let's go by distance and Alt N and we calculate outside. Hmm. Maybe it's because of this. Hmm. That's a pole. Maybe. That. Mm. So that flows that way, this flows this way, that flows like that. Oh well, let's just make that into a quad. Yeah, and finally we can just please them. Not a fan of that geometry to be honest.
Well, the only solution I think is just make it shorter. So we have like a less of an angle. I know, I was supposed to look like a pro, but really, it's any project I do is never flawless. There's always some new learning curve. And sure, I can make it flawless by doing something I did, like a boring Cessna. Well, where's the fun of that? We won't be learning anything. And uh, right now, we try and uh, try to teach you problem solving. Because no matter how experienced you are, you always you will always run into a problem, which I acknowledge. I think there's a. F oh, that's why. <laughs> Now that's the most retarded thing I've ever seen. Gonna be some problem with my wing at the edge. Mm hmm. Always. Face out more topology. J. Huh. Have to slide the back a bit. So now we see all these lumps and bumps, and really the best way is to get rid of unnecessary geometry. Like that one, this one doesn't contribute much. Uh, this doesn't contribute much. This one doesn't contribute much. That one contributes, that one contributes. Even this space them out. This one will contribute much by adding this one. Oh, J three down. I kind of wish there's a way I can make it like a mid wing design, but it's a bit no a low wing design, but it's a bit too late now. 
and the sharp face is bothering me. like to communicate maybe I'm gonna turn these on because now I can see what's happening and yeah I just want to emphasize that this is a round shape like that. this needs to get tucked up like that like a blunty nose this disgraced me so much keep it simply just gonna scale it on the y-axis multiply by zero and yeah, call it day up here can be tweaked. I really don't like that spine. That's fine. This needs to come down. Yeah. Yeah, just one level. I don't think I really need a second level. It doesn't really it just complicate things to be honest. And actually just doing that just got the, the shape I've been I was aiming for. Like that. I can try suggest this is where landing gears are. Alright, now let's go address the tail. I want to like a... Something like that. And let's go for a bit of a more gorgeous tail. Like uh like that. Get the block out done. Then I just do this as on the y axis just to suggest that, yeah, that's some foil airfoil shape. Extrude. I'm going to connect these to make this a clutch map. Um, bridge edge loops. Oh, it looks like I made a mistake instead. How about I turn this off so I have a clear idea of what's happening? And control E, bridge edge loops. 
The reason why this is six sided and the other side is not six sided, I think. Let's count one, two, it's an octagon. Yes, it is an octagon, how unfortunate. Now we've got this loop that goes there. So we can actually face that one. And I think now it's a hexagon. Draw E, bridge edge loops. Mm, not quite. Why? Because I got this pesky face. And where is it coming from? I'm not too sure. But let's just dissolve and hope for the best. Also, it looks pretty awful here. What's happening here? Let's go aim to see what's happening here. That goes there, comes, loops around. Mm -hmm. That goes not there, this goes here and. Ah, that goes like that. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Fortunately, we have this edge loop, which. I kind of need. <laughs> I have to figure out a smart way to do it. Or, actually, angles are not the end of the world. It doesn't look that bad. Mm -hmm. Bridge edge loops. Now we're talking. I'll scale this in a bit just to show you. And that's how I'm going to solve my issues. Cool. And that looks like a pretty cool ass jet fighter. Looks like a tall, proud one, in my opinion. Like an angle like that. Don't really see too much of the tail. Maybe. So now I find block out. I would like to see silhouettes. Yeah, we can clearly see it, Jen and Jen. We can see it's a bit blocky, so that needs to be addressed. Oh, nope. I like that belly hump. It's like the nipple sacks, I guess, like the cow. <laughs> That looks cool. I like the challenges that break up that wing. So things we can tweak up is oh. Yeah mate. You gotta do the